Chemical or biological contamination could happen to anyone at any time. It could result from an unintentional industrial accident that releases hazardous chemicals, or it could be the result of a terrorist attack where individuals intentionally use chemical and biological agents to cause injury, illness, or death. For those combating these threats, the key is to decontaminate the area quickly and effectively. However, a significant challenge exists for first responders and military personnel in that toxic chemical agents and biological agents require different types of decontamination suits. The University of Pittsburgh's McGowan Institute for Regenerative Medicine has invented a decontamination material that provides a universal defense against both toxic chemicals and biological agents. The composite material is made of novel copolymers, which are electrospun into a non-reactive polyurethane fiber mesh incorporating two catalysts. In the presence of water, the catalysts react to generate antimicrobial properties, making the fiber mesh effective against gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. An additional polymer added to the mesh has active chemical groups that can react with and decontaminate nerve agents. These chemical groups can also be cleaved from the polymer and act as a kind of antidote to nerve agent poisoning. This fiber mesh can be incorporated into a number of applications such as filtration units, bandages, and protective clothing. This new decontamination material offers several key benefits. Number one, the material can be used in multiple applications. This single material is effective protection against both chemical and biological agents, thus reducing the need for multiple suits or other solutions. Number two, the material is lightweight. The physical configuration of the fiber mesh makes the material extremely portable for easy storage. And number three, the material provides chemical stability. The chemical makeup of the composite material is stable, thus reducing storage and maintenance costs. In addition, a minimum amount of water is required to initiate the chemical reaction. There are a range of market opportunities for this composite decontamination material. A few of the potential applications include water filtration, both commercial and residential, bandage construction, and protective clothing. Each of these potential markets are expected to experience growth, water filtration, a 50% surge by 2030, bandage construction, which currently has a 2010 sales volume of $2.6 billion, and protective clothing expected to reach $7.7 .7 billion by 2015. This decontamination material offers a real solution to a critical problem of chemical and biological threats. Commercialization of this product requires electrospinning manufacturing capabilities for material production. In addition, there are several incremental improvements to be made in enzymatic activity and porosity. For more information about licensing and commercialization opportunities, please visit our website at www.technologyacceleration.org.